Hi there, Cancer. Welcome to my channel. I'm Annette. This is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette. We're going to do your general love reading for the beginning of July 2020. Please like, share, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell on the side. Feel free to leave a positive comment down below. If you're interested in getting a reading for your birthday, I have your birthday readings on sale for $10 off. They have to be um, 30 minutes or longer phone readings or Skype video for those of you who are outside of the United States. Um, for that information, just send me an email. You have to have cancer as your sun sign. Put cancer birthday special in the subject line. I will send you um, payment and booking information. Also check out my Patreon page, check out my spiritual products, and follow me on Instagram at Tarot by Annette. All of that information is down below the video here. So we're going to do a general love reading for the sign of Cancer. Um, it's for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. Please keep an open mind. Remember, we're working with energy here. I'm channeling messages from Spirit. Um, not all of the messages will be for you or your situation, and um, there's... Lots of other videos on my channel that may resonate with you. And these readings, of course, are timeless. They're like a box of Twinkies, no expiration date. All right, so in your overall energy for love and relationships, Cancer, we've got the spider. Be meticulous and patient. Our little spider carries everything she needs to survive in her spinnerets in her butt. <laughs> She's got shelter, food, she can feed her young, everything you need is, somebody's just going to whip something out of their butt. Maybe somebody thinks you make it look easy, they think that you just whip things out of your butt. <laughs> I don't know. But you need to be meticulous and patient. Um, it's going to happen. Um, whatever you're waiting for, it's going to happen. Um... Someone might be lurking about like a spider. Some of you may have arachnophobia. Um, but um, just be patient. Someone might have been acting like a black widow. She mates and then she kills. Someone might have viewed you as a black widow um, or as a femme fatale type of lady, for those of you who are ladies. Be meticulous, be patient. We will clarify that later on in your reading, Cancer. What else does Spirit want to share with you with uh, love and relationships for the first half of July 2020? Patreon members, um, I have the water sign readings posted for you. So if you guys are interested in spirituality, tarot, cardamancy, everything on a higher level with no advertising and full clarification and extra cards. I invite you to join my Patreon page. I also do life coaching there and we get together once a month, all of us in person and we do a live coffee chat on Zoom. The first one was very, very fun and so I decided to make it a monthly thing. So it's another added bonus of joining my Patreon page. All right, so in the bottom of your deck, you have the Knight of Pentacles. This guy is meticulous and patient. He is the slowest moving knight in the entire deck. Uh, he's the only one that actually shows up with offer in hand. All the I's are dotted, the T's are crossed. It's an offer you can trust. It's just taken a long time to get there. Um, he might have been moving like, you know, a very slow spider. Might be lurking about, hanging around. I said, man, if I could be a fly on Cancer's wall. Um... But someone is showing up with offer in hand. They've been very, very slow, very meticulous, very patient. You've patiently been waiting for an offer to come in that's taken 
for flipping ever to show up. A like, dude must be showing up on the back of a turtle after his Greyhound bus broke down outside of Albuquerque. He had to hitchhike his way the rest of the way. I don't know, but it's taken a very long time for this offer to show up for you, Cancer. Yeah, Four of Pentacles. This is just sitting back, maintaining your position of stability here, wanting security, holding on, being patient, holding on, not letting go. Earth energy again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's something very solid and real here. This is very real earthbound energy here. Um... Someone might have been holding back an offer and being, you've been very meticulous and patient, but they want to make sure they come in the right way this time. They don't want to get bit. They're afraid that, you know, if they come in, you know, a lot of spider, female spiders do mate and then they kill the male. And there's also a male Argonaut octopus that, um, instead of, you know, directly mating with the female, because he's like tiny compared to the female Argonaut octopus, he literally rips off his penis and throws it at the female octopus because he doesn't want to get killed. Um, but yeah. <laughs> little little science there for you guys. Little micro microbiology, marine biology, etymology, whatever. Aw, oh, Six of Cups. This is somebody you already know from your past. It could be the return of a past life soulmate. Mutual feelings of love and affection. The simple things in life. Nostalgia. Childhood. Wanting, wanting to go back when things were easy and simple, but somebody made this complicated by overthinking, being overly cautious, holding back, but now they want to come in and, and reconcile. Um, could be the return of a past life soulmate, water sign energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Oh, it's the King of Cups, our angel with bent wings. Bent, never broken. Water sign energy, again, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This angel offers healing love. He's an angel. He's like, oh, like when this guy shows up with his offer. You're going to be thinking you're seeing stuff here. It's it's just very light energy. He's emotionally balanced. He offers healing, love. Now he wants to come in and offer his cup. He was holding back before. Felt empty. He looks hollow and empty there. This guy is the opposite energy of that Four of Pentacles. Generous, kind, loving. Beautiful energy. On the bottom, we have the Page of Pentacles. Earth energy, again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a solid offer or gift. They may be coming in with a, an apology, offering to take you out on a date, um, offering you a gift, a token of their affection. They want to make things right. They've been holding back, but they've been planning this and being very meticulous and um, they've learned some lessons here. Underneath that is the High Priestess, our secret keeper. She holds the secrets to forbidden knowledge. This can be somebody who's um, um, very intuitive, possibly a psychic medium. She's single, feminine, receptive energy. She, um, she's guided by spirit. She has one foot on earth and one foot in the spirit realm. She's using her natural abilities. Somebody's trusting their intuition. This person may have Pisces and Cancer in their chart. We have another king, the king, king of Pentacles, King Midas. That's the husband, father. Someone, this, this miss, she can also be the mistress or a forbidden woman who already is committed or married. And she can't offer anything. Maybe somebody was getting breadcrumbed by someone who was... In a forbidden relationship. This could be a kept woman. And then we've got um, the Seven of Wands. This is having boundaries, standing up for yourself, knowing your worth, not taking any BS, um, and having to stand up for yourself against any naysayers. Okay? You're going to be victorious. You've already come back from the battle victorious. 
getting attention for someone who knows their worth and stands up and has good boundaries here. Knowing when to keep silent. Someone There may not have been any um, communication with this person. But now someone had to, they, they came back a fighter. And they are not only emotionally balanced, but they're physically balanced. They're ready to commit. They know what they want. It's King Midas. He knows how to make that money, honey. He's ready to be an ideal husband, partner. You, he might have felt like you were out of his league. And here's his counterpart, King of Cups, his counterpart, the Queen of Cups. This is you, Cancer. Beautiful energy. Both might have Cancer, Pisces in your charts. But she offers reciprocal love. She's intuitive, loving, nurturing. She can get a bit moody. But she cares. She deeply cares. She follows her heart. She's guided by her emotions and her heart, her femininity. And somebody now wants to commit. And she had to stand her ground. And she's not putting up with any crap from anybody. But there's a divine couple here. And someone's, you've been patiently waiting for this. And someone's been patiently and meticulously making progress towards offering you something secure and stable and very real but somebody's been holding back not letting go fighting for this not giving up the offer is coming and you know it trust your intuition all right cancer so we're going to take your extended reading over to vimeo i'm going to clarify these major arcana We'll bring in some advice and love messages for you. I will post the link down below. I'll see you there.